Hello friends and welcome to Art by Sparkle. And that's me, Sparkle. For those of you who are returning, I really appreciate it. And for those of you who are new, I would ask that you consider subscribing. In any case, hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting videos. All right, that part's done. What a wonderful morning of fantastic artists and their pores. If you haven't had a chance to look at them, please go back and take a look and comment for them. It helps the channel a lot and hit the like button or the sub and or the subscribe button and you know the drill anyway so here we go i'm going to do a uh, strainer pour on a black canvas that i have already painted it is the flash black from hold on wait for it my silliness okay here we go arteza 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 blah um they're fancy black so what i did i did it just on the round canvas and it has some gold shimmer to it i'm going to try to hold this up so you can see it it actually has some nice little gold shimmer. That's why they call it fancy black. Now you'll notice I've taped down my strainer and that is only uh, to get it started. You know, the weight of the paint will hold that down, but I didn't want it shifting while I was trying to pour because it's been over a year since I did a strainer pour. Okay, other stuff. Here we are in the 60s, 1960s. Oh my gosh, I graduated in 1969, and I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Various travels, various careers, whatever. I ended up going to a rainbow gathering up in Idaho. <laughs> there were 10 of us in this old big old Cadillac who traveled from DC to Idaho so that we could go to the gathering. And of course, it rained constantly. We were like, um, oh, a good six inches in the mud. I mean, it was sucking our, our shoes off, our boots off, whatever we had on, it was sucking it into the mud. We had rain, we had mud. It was absolutely fabulous. And I wasn't quite into the new age stuff then. So I kind of went in kicking and screaming, but I had such a good time at the rainbow gathering. We were in this little pup tent <laughs> and barely, you know, it barely covered the three of us. Anyway, um, so there were some small kids there and I would have a circle every day with any of the kids that wanted to come and we would tell stories. We would just, you know, just do some fun stuff while mom and dad were doing whatever they were doing. And uh, back in the 60s, you just never know. Anyway, so they started calling me Wish. And here's why. Whenever we would have a circle, I would say, I wish I had a flower today. And one of those kids, lo and behold, they would go out and they would bring me a flower. Or I'd say something like, wish I had something to clean these shoes off with. So here comes another kid and he's got a branch with some close knit needles on it. I mean, the kid's like maybe eight years old. Anyway, so they called me wish. Long story short, one of the moms there made this for me. Now, it's kind of like an infinity scarf, okay? And you could do a lot of things with it, but I love, love the colors. Now, what's underneath, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked me. In 1968, Christmas, I was a junior in high school, and my mom, she always was very, you know, 
um, not super bright colors. All right. Anyway, she bought this for me. Ta -da! I'm in the sixties <laughs> and I still have it because it's been in the back of my closet. Anyway, it's very comfortable. So I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get to the table. See what happens with all these colors. Okay. See ya. I'm using Mixed Media Girl paints, and I've used 13 out of these. Um, I think they're 15 or so here. I'm going to start by layering very, very small layers in this because I do want to get through all the paints because it'll only be um, one time through all 13 colors. So I set them up, hopefully, um, you know, kind of colors together, you know, closely so that they blend nicely as a result.
So after I finished with the last um, um, uh, flame, <laughs> I guess, anyway, I'm showing you some new mixed media paints that I really, really loved using. Um, that peach champagne is so much like um, her other peach color, but this one has a lot of shimmer. That lavender shimmer was so much fun. That was great, as was the light pearl blue. These colors are great, and she is an awesome chemist as well as artist. So please check her out. Wow, I just finished showing you the ret uh, wet results, and oh my gosh, I even got more cells. So I'm gonna just give you a quick peek. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, but <clears throat> where they have started to develop, separate. I just, oh, I love it, it's so bizarre. I mean, it's very, um, I think it's cheerful. I think it's fun. And here we are at Fluid Stock, so. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. I would appreciate it. And I think I am gonna call this Sparkle Done. Oh yeah. Oh, I just love the way these colors played together. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, Marcy. You have the most magnificent magnificent pouring paint and I dearly love it. Head on over to um, Mixed Media Girl and she'll have a link on one of her channels where you can go to her um, where she sells her split cups and and her paints um, and you know a bunch of other things I'm not going to mention right now because of time. So please check out and go to her description box and that's where you're going to find different links. Well, that sure was a lot of fun. Yes, sirree. Oh, Nathan, thanks so much for putting this, this opportunity together for all of us. It was a great time. And I sure liked thinking back to the 60s. <gasps> And that's when I had my first date with my now hubby and then waited 46 years to finally get back together again. <laughs> anyway, so thanks a lot. I want to take you over to the dry results. The paint dried in like, you know, three hours because there's no humidity here. So anyway, like my glasses. Um, it, it hides the bags under my eyes when the sparkle doesn't. Okay, so I'm taking you on over. And I just want to say thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up for a like. And press that notification bell. Um, and put it up on all so that you will get you will get um, notices of when I um, <laughs> post the next pour. Uh, um, I'm pretty far behind in posting, but I'm not on a regular schedule. So until I am, it'll always be a surprise. Okay, bye. Remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Have a super weekend. This dried so beautifully. I'm gonna to try to keep this in frame while I turn it on the turntable. Um, personally, I see a phoenix rising from the flames, even though they aren't the nice big red flames, they have a flame effect, I think. So I'm just gonna slowly turn this, because this video is gonna be too long, and I will have to maybe move it a little faster.
but I just wanted you to see how pretty it was dried. It dried fast because of the no humidity Arizona and the warmth in my studio. So it was drying about three hours. Okay, fly away, Phoenix. Mm -hmm.